Welcome back to the Dankus case in L.A. Noir, Reefer Madness. This is a Ooh. DLC case, and, uh, well, it's gonna you be a lot of fun. Reefer Madness. Sure, that was a thing in the real world. Correct me if I'm wrong. Based on the 1936 film Reefer Madness, it was a marijuana propaganda film that was infamous for being, um, shit. <laughs> so it was just a crap film, so it didn't really set out to do what it wanted to do. It was a crap film that was, uh, very, very misinformed. Ah. So. We've got, uh, we've got some information on some possible dope dealers. We've got an informant who's a little, uh, kind of, so we're gonna go see him. We're gonna go see what's going on. Nice. Gonna crack down on some people smoking dope! We're gonna go over, give him 50 bucks. He's gonna tell us the case, t tell us where this dope is coming from. And then the case begins from there. We seriously have to pay a guy saying, hey, where'd you get this? I really hate this police station. <laughs> uh, maybe you could find it in here. Maybe somebody's pushing in the police station. Hey, does anybody have some weed? <laughs> okay, we're good. Something tells me that... Ooh, extra. Ooh. Is there a news story going on? Whoa. Huh, I, I guess not. But anyway, oh, okay. on to the case. That car does look tempting, but mm. I need to get someplace mm -hmm. fast. I like that red car over there, too, but... Gotta go with the standard issue first, I suppose. This'll work. This'll work. So our informant is, uh... Waiting at a... Either a bar or a... Oh, uh, he's waiting at a, either a bar or a diner. I'm gonna go there. Go see him. Yeah. Imagine that. A bar or a diner. Middle of the afternoon. This crazy woman decides to set. Why can't we meet in like the park or something? This car costs me a fortune. You maybe like an old train yard. Maybe like we're just we're meeting up in a place where a shootout is definitely going to happen. What is he? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> So, did we make it, or did the game crash? We did a head-on collision <laughs> at, the, at, like, the exact same frame that we made it here. Oh, God, so, I thought oh. the game broke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was terrifying. Hold me, Roy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Roy, did you see that? That's what I'm here really for. is reefer madness. The 20? Sure, right here. 20? So, uh, he gives him 20 bucks. <laughs> Instead of 50, he makes 30 bucks. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. Uh-huh. So we got 50 pounds a week in dope coming from Tijuana. Hmm. And we got a house, too. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia. Spick? Come on. Yeah, you're gonna find that this case is full of racial slurs. Great, great. Yeah. Not like any of the really bad ones, but still kind of bad, though. I mean, we've already had a really bad one. Now let's see if we can get the others. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Crossfire! <laughs> You'll get caught up in the crossfire. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so, the address of Juan Garcia Cruz, the guy who might be behind the Tijuana sure. dope peddling scheme. Uh, like Let's bring this guy in. For his next oh score. God, now I'm just imagining every 80s and 90s commercial being narrated by Walken. Crossfire! You'll get caught up in the crossfire! Head on! Ooh. Apply directly to the forehead! Head on! <laughs> apply directly! To the forehead. So we got a dis so we got a dispatch call. Oh, we sweet. haven't done one of those in a while. It's been fucking forever since we did a dispatch call. Yeah, well, because the last dispatch call wanted to go wanted to go like clear across LA. We're not doing that. Yeah, yeah, and 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, is this one clear across the city, too? Yeah, it's clear <laughs> across the city. This is way far away. I wonder when the realization kicks in. Wait for it. Wait for it. Huh. So what have you oh. been up to, my dude? Uh, well, just trying to think of a bunch of different commercials where I could put the walk-in voice over. Oh, no! Not my corn pops! Ah! What can he see? My kids love the delicious taste Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hands off my Butterfinger. Please. If you or a loved one suffering from mesothelioma, you could be entitled to compensation. It's a rape whistle. You use it. Christ! Do you ever feel not so fresh? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Walking, you can start now. Uh, please, I got more. Cotex. Period. <laughs> God, that's like getting Morgan Freeman to narrate your Sprite commercial. Oh, wait. Well, I guess he technically didn't narrate that Sprite commercial, but he was in the ad. I don't know what Sprite commercial is trying to do anymore. I mean, they're trying to make it all like, you know, hip and hood and like crunk and like, oh, Sprite! Oh, yeah! Strides. You, you, you know how, that? like, the big highlights of the Super Bowl commercials was Doritos, sometimes Budweiser and Bud Light, and I bitch. believe uh, the other soft drinks were trying to get it all on the, you know, hilarious commercial, but Doritos always takes it home. This past year, uh, I didn't see as much. So I don't even watch Super Bowl commercials that much anymore. What? Yeah. Oh, some of them get, can be really funny. Because the really funny ones will probably appear in a compilation, and the really, really bad ones that are offensive and dumb and stupid and weird will just get forgotten forever. Exactly! You go for the compilations. That's how I found out that Wendy's had, like, five different ones all insulting McDonald's. <laughs> they were great! So if you listen closely, our car is... Oh, That's not doing what I good. was hearing. Yeah, I knew it's I heard a... something like the rattling of an engine. It is a concerning rattling noise that uh, if we take one more direct hit, one more good square hit in the front, we're hoofing it. So well, I'm, at least at that point, I, I want to see it explode. Can you make it explode? No, I can't make it explode. I, I mean, it's a, it's a wonder that we're not just <laughs> splattered against the windshield, though. <laughs> tick, tick, boom. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, how, how far goodness. away is this shit? I mean, come on. Oh, We've driven like Please tell me it's ever. so far away. It's all the way at the other end. Oh, yes! my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know. Oh, that's so good. If, if I'm stationed in Seattle, don't call me from Portland to tell me you got a bank robbery, all right? I think we already said this. That's like us getting a call. It's like. Like, the closest crime is in Cleveland. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be there about three hours, you know? You got no <laughs> other cops on the scene? Come on! They're going to the dangerous part of town. Cops don't even go there. So why are you calling me? I'm four hours away! That's like, the, that's like the normal part of town. See, m most <laughs> exactly. of Vice kind of deals in, like, you know, the northern part of town, I guess, but... Mm -hmm. Here, it's just... Where are we? God. Do we ever uh, have to hit up, like, a, a vice case that's in the ritzy side of town? I think they all do. Well, may well maybe. They're all... I mean, well, yeah. we'll certainly know for sure if we keep going along with this, won't we? If we ever get to solving the vice case instead of driving 12,000 miles to go to solve these fucking street crimes. <laughs> chugga, 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 If we ever make it there in one piece, I mean... Uh oh, 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 uh oh
Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, finally. Oh, we're, we're close. Oh, we're there. <laughs> oh. oh, please let it just die here. Like, it goes over a curb and just goes... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Take it out to pasture and put two in its ten spot. Finally, daylight robberies robbing the place. Stop. LAPD, like hell. That no, that we really are LAPD. Stop the devil! <laughs> oh shit! No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think that's the fastest you've ever failed one of these. Grammy that! I needed that. <laughs> I needed that. Oh, does that feel good? Alright, let's do it for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, run after him, I guess. So you can't shoot him. Oh, apprehend the suspect unharmed. Oh, well... Seriously, does nobody in these, cri these crime dramas know what a debilitating shot is? A neutralizing shot, perhaps? When you shoot a guy, you don't have to shoot him in the chest. Well, I mean... You can shoot him in the leg or in the hand or whatever. Our track record right now is, like, only one person has survived our onslaught. And I think that's just because you misfired and accidentally caught him in the leg and didn't actually go for a kill shot. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Yeah! Oh my god, he's serious. Feels like in another life he shot me in the heart. If I shot him in the ankle, he would have stumbled and you know, he wouldn't be running no more. But well, then I tackle him and then just mulch his face. <laughs> Right in the concrete. Well, I'm I'm under the impression that Cole Phelps is in like topsy turvy land where he it's like shoot to kill for minor misdemeanors. But if you're like robbing a place and shooting up people, it's just like you know what, It'll wrap you on the wrist for that one. Not so hasty. Ooh. Is that for well, finishing a certain number of cases? Not cases, but uh, street calls or. Oh. I'll look it up, but look look how far back we have to go. We have to go, like, <laughs> two-thirds of the way across the fucking map. Oh, yeah. You that's drive. Not, that's not my problem, Roy. That's that's all you, Roy. You go for this. This is your fancy car, after all. Take me to the black screen of loading. Yeah, it gets you there faster. Thank God. Loading. Ah. Juan Garcia Cruz's house at 11.25 in the morning. Well, this looks promising. Oh, yeah, this is this, this looks great. All right, all right. No, they would have died. They would have died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless those hats are made of titanium. We got two guys in the window using high caliber weapons at us, so we need to take them out. Oh! Luckily, over here. Oh no! Well. Oops. Ahem. Let's try that again. Alright. Well. Just take, well. Just gotta carefully make my way over to the car. Just a second. My health back. All right, here we go. Right. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, oh. the truck. Yeah, yeah. Machine gun, Tommy gun, or a shotgun? We'll go with the Tommy gun. That's seems you know, fight fire with fire, that sort of thing. Okay. Come on. Oh, All right, you bastards, bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, shit. Ah, come on. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. That could have gone a lot better. Could have gone way better. Hmm. All right, so make our way back over to the car. Do this carefully. Make our way back to the car. Need help at All right. Okay. Shots fired and need so help at get the Palmas. Tommy gun again. Thanks for the help, Roy. Hey, you got this, Phelps. You're doing pretty good, man. Maybe there's a way that I can sort of blind slide. Uh, blind sighted, maybe flanking, perhaps. That's what I was thinking. All right, yeah. bring it on you, ba bring it on you bastards! I'm gonna take you all down. Just why aren't you popping out? Where, where, where are you guys at? Come on, come on! I got you, I got you! Oh! Bring it on you! Oh, come on! 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> the indomitable Cole Phelps is getting dominated! <laughs> and you can... And if you really got a hard time, you can skip the action sequence. It's gonna hurt your grade, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna tank our way through somehow. Uh, I, so I, we're gonna get to the car right away. I really get don't to the like the car right away. I don't really like games that do that. I mean, there are certain games where, yeah, I would love it if they kind of held my hand through an extremely difficult section. But when it's just like dumb luck that you're dying so many times, yeah. One. Two, dead. Fuck y'all. One, dos, done. Oh, so tragic that the two drug dealers who fired on cop fired on cops were murdered. Hmm. I mean, they started it. They they did start it. So, first off, we got a body right here. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, one crew. You open fire and well, the rest <laughs> of the story tells It's like I'm scratching his chin. <clears throat> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> yeah, nothing up here except a lot of blood. That really fucked him up, didn't I? Sheesh. Now looking in here, we got ourselves a. Uh... What was that? Silver dollar. Oh, they took these things out of circulation. Hmm. Hmm. Really old silver dollar from like the 1890s. Probably worth a pretty penny today. <laughs> well, you, you know. <laughs> Nothing on the arm here. Let's see. I shot him here. I shot him here. I shot him here. And I shot him here. And this is the gun he used to kill me three times. What an asshole! I know, right? Hmm. I want you. I want you to remember this word now. Remember it forever. Masanke. 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 Whatever. Just that word. Remember it. If you don't, I won't put you in the next episode. Sounds like a really drunk guy getting up for karaoke. This is my song, Kay. <laughs> Uh huh. What do we got here? Parnell's soup cup. Man, these are. They got boxes yeah, upon boxes of anymore. soup. Look, they're all over the place. And grasshoppers living on soup. Hmm. So in the last case, we had a whole bunch of popcorn. In this case, we got tons and tons of tomato. Look, look at all this shit. My God. <laughs> so you're really saying the true culprit is people who are making the food in this city? Well, I mean, I, I like soup and all, but I wouldn't have that much soup. I'm just thinking. I'd at least have. I mean, at least get some vegetables to make my own soup if I liked soup that much. I wouldn't get the condensed can stuff all the fucking time. I Sheesh. really hope we go into a school and we have to tackle lunch ladies with machine guns. Ooh, 12 cents a can. 20th Century Market. This is where you they normally get the canned soup. So we got a new location to check out. But there's still a few more clues in here we need to find. Excellent. More, more soup! It's They're in every room in the house! Well, that guy was just very protective of his suit, and oh my god. That's a gun. Be connected. D doesn't appear to be connected. You don't know. Maybe he likes to shoot soup cans. It's still more than meets the eye here, because there's a shed back here. Oh, and it's got soup statues! Hmm. Huh? An open can of soup. Like that anything. just... That looks gross. I'd throw that away immediately. I'd wash your hands, Cole. Hmm. Not everything here is going to be relevant. What's in here? Oh. That's some bolts. Okay. Totally relevant. Case closed. Hmm. If we look at uh, the flower, the flower. Oh, oh look at that! The yeah. soup was the answer. What's in this hidden compartment? <laughs> oh God! I think we just killed the owner of that soup company. He makes a soup at home. You 
hungry or something? Are you else? sure about that? Because I think he's a fucking dope peddler. Whoa, dank kush! I'd say that's Look at that kush. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a I like that I can still move my hand in this cutscene. <laughs> Huh, 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 yeah. Well, yes, uh, the diggity dank right here, as it seems. <laughs> the gosh darn diggity dank. <laughs> Let's see what the we got here. The gosh darn kush. And in this one, we have, even you guessed more. it, even more dank! <laughs> you get an achievement for that. Why? Oh, just because you found it? S soup in the pot. <laughs> I get it. I just got it. You got a ledger here. A ledger for Parnell's Soup Company. Delivery ledger. Yes. Well. Woo! Man! Whoa! That's a lot of money. A lot of stuff coming in from Tijuana. A lot of stuff coming in from South America. Holy shit. Dates and times seem pretty regular. So we got a lot of Tijuana. Come... A lot of Tijuana going to an Those EJ kind of fella. Let's wait and see how this plays God. out. God. So we got a lead here, it seems. And it's by poundage, too. I don't think that's... Is that based on the weight of the cans with the weed in it, or... No. Well, the cans don't... The cans themselves don't weigh that much, but the weed on top of that is like, hoo, 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 wham. Yeah, that... 50 pounds... <laughs> just so you know, 50 pounds is a lot of fucking weed, all right? Yeah, that's why I'm saying Tijuana's... They're sending a lot of stuff. There's still one more thing we're missing here. It's not his hand, that's for sure. But <clears throat> I just remarkably I soft just hand. Love this I hand. What lotion he uses? Not that hand either. At least I don't think so. It no, no, nothing here. Ah, he moisturizes. Let's see. Uh... Aha! In his other coat pocket, there is a wallet containing his driver's license. Juan Garcia Cruz. Poor Juan yeah, Garcia Cruz. Like a mm. Hmm. Well, you can have that back. Well, that's all the clues. We got a... We got a new lead to follow. So I say we follow that lead. What say you? I say we should follow said lead and find out where all this soup is going. Well, let's go to the soup company and ask some questions because, you know, the Brother soup is the clearly where the weed is coming up. from. And the morphine from the last case is still no turning up. Sheesh! So were we eventually going to find a big bad drug lord who has, like, all of the... No, all the bad stuff. He has all the stuff. It's like, you need morphine, bam, you got it. Oh! He's got the morphine, he's got the- Oh! Are he's got the crazy? morphine, he's got the heroin, he's got the coke, he's got the uh, fucking benzos, and- uh, Oh, you hear that? Another dispatch call. <laughs> we yeah, go? I've fallen for that twice, not making that same mistake. Well, where is it? I don't care. It's probably gonna be on the other side of fucking tab again. I don't have time for that! Alright, alright, let's head to, uh, Parnell's Not, super not when the, the, the- This lead we have is red hot! Red hot! Okay. Red Hot Soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm, tomato soup. Right. So this is the soup Let's factory that the is the soup in this place. smuggling all this dope into the country. Time to ask some questions. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please. And then she bolts. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. <laughs> if you must. Well, I don't think you're going fast enough, sweetheart. Let me just, uh, you know, yeah, can I just, excuse me. I, I really hope we walk into this guy's office and he is just the most chill dude. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's alright. We'll see. It's like he goes, hey, it's the LAPD. I'll be like, blunt. Dude, man. I don't want you here. <laughs> this, the, the head of the soup company is Tommy Chong. <laughs> it's like, whoa, man, coming in for some soup, you want some minestrone, some tomato bisque, maybe? I can hook you up, bro, if you want. What's going on, man? 
Sit tight, fatso. Woo, easy there. Serious trouble. He used the F word. Ooh, no and that's worse than being called a Take spick. A seat, I'm sure we can sort this all out. <laughs> Maybe you can explain why we found five dollar bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That was five dollars? Damn! Outrageous allegation. How do you explain Jeez. it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans. All sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list yeah, of your we found employees? Two. Of course. We have nothing to hide. So, right, he's Norris, looking to be cooperative at first. The current employee listing? Let's see, uh... Here look at for current employees. Maybe there's a link between the guy we just shot dead and a guy who works here. You know, a connection between the soup and the place we just raided. Perhaps. Excuse me, Mr. Gargantua Man. Can we get names and numbers of all your employees? Thanks. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Aha! Jorge Garcia Cruz. This is familiar. Mm -hmm. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. The place we were just at. Let's ask some questions here. The factory sealed cans we found suggest All right, Gigantor, give us answers straight. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing Gigantor. about this. <laughs> I knew it would get stuck in your do. head. Quit lying, Parnell. How could the cans <laughs> be coming off the line sealed without your knowledge? Stop you lying, you tubble lord. Let's go. Son. You better have some goddamn Lying food. on your couch, you fat sack of shit. Just come up with fat jokes the entire time. Looks like I was mistaken. Okay, he's telling the truth, but no, not really though. No oh, is he telling the truth? PD fat chance. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you would not want to proceed? You know, I think. Uh, I don't think he's going to tell us anything. I think we just need to wait and see. Employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. Ah, oh, come on! Now you're really going for the low blow, aren't you, Chubbs? 1947! Just slurs everywhere! Yeah, 1947. The modern day equivalent would be 2018. Ugh. Uh, would you like to prove that I'm involved in this scam? I'm a legitimate businessman. <laughs> yeah, I'm large and in charge. Wait. <laughs> you understand that, Mr. Parnell? Do you know what? He's a big wig, more like big pants, though. Okay, so things are a little flat. I mean, when he lays around the company, he lays around the company. Yeah, things are a little flat. It's certainly not you, round boy. Five million cans of minestrone. So, uh, please tell me your shirt size. Mr. Parnell, is it in fact a circus tent? Not that I know of. He has a brother. There must be. You know uh, nearby where we live is uh, the Jones Chip Company. You know, the potato chips, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I uh, years ago I saw a uh, a news story about the Jones article, the the the, the Jones factory. Yes. And there's one guy whose job it is to taste test the chips. There's an investigation oh. going on in the property. This man is like quite large. I'm sure he's dead. It's like you you cut him and he'll just bleed cholesterol, you know? <laughs> not the good kind either. He did not look healthy. Like, he, he was at least, you know, 10 of you. Oh, God. Yeah, he, he did not look healthy. It's like a pure cholesterol comes out of his bloodstream. It looks like mashed potatoes gushing out of a turkey. Pink mashed potatoes. Ah, stop. Where is your proof? Be oh, come on, man. You don't ask me Why do we gotta be so that? hateful? So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. So our guy isn't in right now, but he will be later tonight. So we'll come back then. We'd like to take a look uh, night shift that... A night shift that comes in at nine and finishes it at midnight. Yeah, right. I'll show you around myself. You probably pay them pennies. Mm-hmm. Or probably a penny. So we're gonna take a look around the factory now and see how things are done. Very well. 
Let us see your migrant workers at work. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. We'll get out of his way! Okay. Oh, how did he unlock it, huh? I didn't see no keyhole. I'm we're, on to you, fatso! <laughs> we're taking you down for questioning. I like being impatient, Phelps. <laughs> You're literally running circles around him. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. <laughs> That's super. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Why don't you be quiet? Might learn something. Oh, good God. This is really a neat is little factory, though. I like the way they kind of put this together. It looks, looks cool. We're a proud looks pretty detective. safe in comparison to some factories up, today. Not as sanitary, of course, but at least they... At least, this you know, the they won't have to pay works comp. Do you think a soup factory that's uh, employed mainly of women way, would be called a brothel? This. <laughs> oh, 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 God, I can't compete with that. Let me just take stock. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can think of is sure. the more jokes you say, the more people will want to get you canned on YouTube. <laughs> You better watch what you say, boy on. Jesus. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. This is Sergio. He These works here as well, and indeed. well, let's go talk to this guy and see what we can find out from Sergio him. Oh, wait, I just realized we haven't met the bookkeeper in this company yet, right? Just there on the desk. No. Uh, I'm thinking a, a guy of a specific descent would be really good at money managing, you know, Aju. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me any credit. You can get rid of that if you want. There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? A lot of soup is going to 20th Century Market. I think that might be where it is. Be ooh, he's got a coin too. It's the same silver dollar. Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. Yeah, I just like to like sit it. here and flip the coin up and down, you know? Increases my luck of surviving. Yeah, that's how you prove you're a tough guy. You flip a coin, you catch it, you flip it again, use one hand. Ah, only macho guys use that. Yeah, especially if you got a bowler hat, you put it down and you stand underneath a, a street light at night when nobody else is around and you're just flipping a coin, man. You get a fedora, you get gunned down immediately. I mean, unless you're part of the mafia. Even then, it's still highly likely you get gunned down. What do mafioso wear? What would you consider that hat a, that a typical gangster would wear? I don't know. I'm not a gangster. I just, I just wear an octopus hat, really. <laughs> Hey, you come in here and you wear an octopus hat, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, Tony tells me that my octopus hat is no good, so I iced his ass. Turn him into straight up calamari, okay? Don't even deal with him no more. You're a liar, Sergio. Sorry, I just recently watched Goodfellas. I need to see that movie. I got it on my list on Netflix. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I like good movies, but I'm too busy playing Yakuza. That's my mafia. That's my uh, mafia kick that I'm satisfying right now. Oh god, I, st I still love the fact that you got all of these Yakuza games, and they just announced 3, 4, and 5 to be remastered. Are they? I thought they were going to do it. Well, they are officially doing it now. I think it they just announced it for a Japan release. Yeah, I wouldn't mind picking up Yakuza 3 and 4. <laughs> They're all in one package together, and you can't get rid of 5. Damn it. Can I just, can I just not play 5? We'll 5 isn't good. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah, 
Keep an eye on Sergio in case yeah, you might want to uh, uh, spruce the place up, uh, maybe make some improvements, you know, make the factory all souped up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, baby! Okay, is that necessary? Is it ever necessary? No, this guy's a dick. I am glad he is a dick. Place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. I mean, they smell like Mexican workers, am I right? They suddenly smell like you, Roy. <laughs> Got him. 